Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Unstable. That's right, folks, I'm your host, Right Wing RB, and we are here to do some modded Minecraft. Last episode, we did some stuff with refined storage, and uh, it didn't go so well. I'm kind of ashamed of that episode. You guys said it was pretty good, but uh, I don't think we really accomplished much. Much, um, and I've been playing with it a little bit in the off time, in the in the era, in the uh, in the uh, in the time frame from uh, the last episode. I did do a couple of things. Um, I added a, a grid out here so that I can access the inventory from out here in the hallway. Also, put in a crafting monitor that way I can check and see if there's anything crafting. Um, and but nothing really here has changed. I did put my crafters over here. Uh, and I've got some things already in here, you know, like wood to plant, or yeah, uh, logs to planks, planks to sticks. I can make chests, I can make uh, capacitors, I can make machine frames, I can make conduit binder, and or not conduit binder, well, yeah, I can make uh, conduit binder powder or whatever that stuff is. I can also make facades, uh, but I haven't been able to do anything with the... Uh, with the automation. I did make one of these interface things. Uh, Chris Hoekstra suggested one of these things, but I'm not sure I, I, I'm not sure I understand exactly how this thing works. Because um, no matter what I do, no matter what I try, it doesn't seem to work. The way that the, the way that the wiki page talks about it, like they don't, they don't talk about automating uh, solderers at all. I mean, they don't, I don't know. I, I, it may not even be possible. I would hope that it would be, but um, I haven't been able to make this work. I tried to output things to a chest and and do some different things with Ender IO, and you know, I just I couldn't ever get either the crafter or the interface to do what I wanted it to do. So maybe I'm just missing something, which is <laughs> frankly pretty likely. Um, but uh, but yeah, I wasn't able to get it to work. So if you guys can uh, if you guys can lead me down the path to uh, refined automation or refined storage uh, righteousness I would I would be greatly greatly appreciative um, but today what we're gonna do today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on something that we've needed for a little while but not we just never had really the resources to do it we never had the power to do it but uh, but today I think those issues are gone and so what we're gonna look at is something down here I did a little bit of digging okay did a little bit of digging and I made myself a hole down here now, a hole for what, you might ask? Well, it's going to be a hole for a blaze spawner. Uh, we are going to put in a powered blaze spawner, and uh, that way we can have a virtually endless supply of, uh, of blaze rods and blaze powder and so forth, because there's a lot of things that we're going to need that for, such as potions and stuff, if we want to go into uh, go and do stuff with a uh, ocean monument, should we ever find one, because I still haven't found one of those. Um, I did find um, I did find a lot of guardians, um, <clears throat> but uh, they're not uh, the, the apparently quark. Uh, there's a mod in here called Quark that allows for things to spawn where they're not supposed to spawn. That's why we get Endermen in the Nether. That's why we get uh, blazes uh, outside of Ender uh, of uh, 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 yeah. Uh, nether fortresses and so forth so um, I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the ocean monuments but like I said I haven't been able to find one yet and I'm gonna need one eventually because I want to do some prismarine and sea lanterns and stuff like that but uh, we can't do that just yet so um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna we're gonna use this space that I cleared out and we're gonna create ourselves a little blaze spawner well to do that we have to have a broken spawner we also have to have a powered spawner, an empty powered spawner. Uh, we have to have a soul binder, or uh, no, we don't need a soul binder. Don't need a soul binder yet, uh, because that's we're fine on that. Because I actually have a, a broken spawner right here. I picked this up from the Nether Fortress um, the first time we found it, so we've got that taken care of. But what we do need to do is we need to combine this in an anvil with a powered spawner. So the first thing we got to do, I guess, is to make a powered spawner. So powered spawner empty right there we need one of these we can craft those we also need a mob head of some kind and we need a z logic controller i think i have i think i have uh oh okay there we go i think i have a zombie head i do i have a couple good all right so we need one of those right and we need some solarium some solarium Good, we have some of that. So we need one, two of those, right? We need to have some silicon. Some of this, one, two. 
And see that 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 what else do we, what else do we need for a Z logic controller? So Z logic nothing. Is it Z dash? Uh oh. Is it Z dash logic? Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, redstone. I don't know how I missed the redstone. So let's get one of those redstone pieces right there. Go throw all of this stuff into our soul binder. Or not, I'm not, is, no, it's not the soul binder. It's the, uh, it's this thing, the slice and splice. That's it. So we need that. Plus we need those. Plus we need this. Plus we need redstone. And that will give ourselves that will give us that Z logic controller that we need. And what else did we need to have? Uh, we need a machine frame so we can auto craft that. We'll see if that works because it's a that's a one of those multi tiered things. It's got to make the uh, basic capacitor first. I have not tried this yet, so let's see machine frame machine. Oh, we actually have one. Bummer. I wanted to auto craft it. You know what? We're gonna auto craft it anyway. Start. I want to see if it's going to work. It does. Sweet. Awesomeness. Okay. All right. So now we've got that. We can put that back in there like so. We need to go in here and find our... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What am I What am I making? Oh, yeah. Powered spawner. Powered spawner. Right down here. Powered spawner. Empty. We should, oh, we don't have any vibrant crystals, do we? I think we've got everything else we need. Uh, no, we don't. We are missing something else. Oh, I got a wood. No, we're not using a wither skeleton skull. Don't use that. We want a different skull, like a creeper skull or something. Oh, is that the only one? Oh, that can't be the only ones I have. Can't be the only ones that I have. Not possible. Got to be some in here. Got to be some in here. No, there aren't. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get, well, I guess I can afford to spare one. I just, I need to make sure that I have three for a wither because I wanna do a wither here pretty soon because there's something else I wanna make with that. So let's do a, well, there's an Enderman skull right there. That should work, shouldn't it? Oh, that's an Enderman head. Oh, you know what? I bet if I just type in head, I bet that'll work. Head, yep, we got, we got a creeper head there. We'll just use that. That's fine. I don't plan on using that creeper head for anything else. All right, now, powered spawner. We got their Z logic controller. We also need to have these vibrant crystals. So Z logic goes there. Uh, vibrant crystals. Hmm. 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 I don't think I have. Oh, I do. Sweet. Okay. Good. All right. Do that. Do that. Do that. Two of those. Sweet. Do that powered spawner awesome we need to have 16 levels because we have to combine this in a anvil so let's go get ourselves 16 levels uh, take 10 yep oh no take 10 there we go and the, well we'll just do we'll just take 20 <laughs> we'll just take 20 we got them it's fine come in here come to our trusty dusty anvil put him in there like that put him in there like that and then take out our powered spawner. Sweet. Now, this thing is gonna go right down here. I'm gonna need some conduits. I need some power conduits. Do I have any on me? I do not, but I'm sure that I have some in my system here. So we'll need some power conduits. Conduit. We'll just take all of those. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I know I'm going to need a fair number. And, oh, and I need a facade. I'm going to need a conduit facade. And that one will be just fine. Okay. Spawners work the best when you, uh, when you mount them high. And then you um, bring them down like one block. So where is the center here? That's the center this way. And that's the center this way. Which means that that's the center there. Yes. Yes, that's the center. Okay. 
So now we're going to put our spawner right here like so. Boom. Sweet. Uh, what's that for? I don't know what that's for. Uh, now we need to get ourselves some power. And there is power back over here. So I'm going to clear out uh, I'm going to clear out a path. I'm going to get ourselves some power in there and then we're all, but I don't want to tie it in just yet. I don't want to make that final connection until I'm ready to to close this thing in with glass. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to uh, how we're going to kill these guys. So sit back, sit tight for just a minute and uh, and we'll be right back with you with some progress. See you momentarily. Okay, so I just finished up with some uh, some stuff down there at the at the blaze spawner. But uh, what we need to do now is we need to do some work on what we're going to use to kill the blazes. Okay, um, and I got an idea. I've got something that I wanted to try for a while now, and it's from RF Tools. Whoops, not RF Tool, not RF Tool. Um, it's from uh, it's from RF Tools, and it's the uh, it's the shield generators. Okay, so we've got these shield templates, and we also have these shield uh, projectors. Um, we only need a tier one because we only we don't have to cover more than 256 blocks. But these things are pretty awesome. So this machine forms a this machine forms a shield out of adjacent template blocks. It can filter based on any based on type of mob and do various things damage solid. Uh, so we're going to want it to do damage. Use the smart wrench to add sections to the shield. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make up a, a, a bunch of these, these shield templates. We need, what, 49, 7 by 7, so 49. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and get that. And there's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need to do, oh, we're going to need to have one bundle extra, which is not cool. Uh, but then we also need to have this, uh, this shield projector. So the shield projector, that needs a machine frame. Let's make one of those. And then... Uh, right here, shield projector, obsidian. I think I've got all of that. I think I got all of that. Sweet. I need a redstone torch. Darn it. I need a redstone. Actually, back up. Hold up. Wait a minute. We can make one. <laughs> uh, torch. Redstone torch. Craft me one, please. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so there's our projector and there's our shields. We'll need to get power to it, which is which shouldn't be too shouldn't be too difficult. Let me show you what I got going on down here. Um, so we come down here and you can see that I've continued on this blue wall here. I do need to get some stone for the ceiling, but continued on this blue wall here, put in the wall here, put in the wall here, and I also did some digging down there. So let's go down there and see what we got. So we come down here and this is the bottom of the mob spawner, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this, uh, this shield projector right there, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of, these, uh, all of these template blocks like this and we're going to bring these all the way around the room, okay? What's going to happen is, oh, and I need to, there's one more thing that I need to have before I can do this. Uh, I need to have a vacuum chest, so we're going to have to make that too. But, uh, but by putting these in here like this, <clears throat> excuse me, putting these in here like this, what will happen is when I power this thing, it will turn this into a shield, and that shield, well, we might as well set this up. So we want entities to, do, to take damage from players because we want to be able to get mob heads and all that other good stuff. Uh, but we only want it to be hostile mobs, okay? So hostile mobs are going to take damage as if it were inflicted by a player. We'll add that to that profile, okay? Once we put power to this thing, you'll get this really cool shield effect. So let me go ahead and get all these blocks in here. And we also are going to want to put in a vacuum hop, a vacuum chest right there. So we might want to go ahead and dig this out while we got it. Plus that'll give us a way to get in and out of here pretty easy. Okay, so get rid of that. Oh, we're going to need to get rid of all of these torches, aren't we? Yes, we probably will. Let's do that right now. OK, 
Okay, that takes care of that. All right, now, now we can finish putting these in. And I'm gonna want to, hmm, yeah, probably, it probably doesn't matter. So is this, this is the center right here, right? So I can actually put that block. No, I can't. I can't put that block back yet. So do that, and then that. Okay, so there's our shield, right? We'll get power to this thing. We'll get ourselves a vacuum chest right here, and we'll take that vacuum chest and we'll tie it back into that chest right up there. That chest is tied into the uh, uh, refined storage system, and then we'll be in. Uh, then I think we'll be in really good shape. So hang tight for a minute. I am going to go and uh, and get ourselves a vacuum. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's just go see if we got one. We might have a vacuum chest that we can use. I've made a couple of them, I think, and I don't remember if I used them all. If not, we should be able to make one, I would think. So hang on, let's let's see what we got here. So vacuum chest, B-A-C-C, -C. nope, not C-C, B-A-C-U. Okay, so vacuum chest, oh, that's just a pulsating crystal. I can make one of those right now, can I? Almost. Let's get one more of these. There we go. So now we can make a pulsating crystal. We can make ourselves a chest because I've got that set up on AutoCraft. Awesome. And let's see, go back to vacuum now. BAC. Oh, wait, why am I making one? I got one. Duh. Holy cow. I tell you what, I'm not very bright sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I did just say that about myself out loud. It's okay. All right, so let's go put this in where it goes. It's going to go right here. Actually, we are going to put a, we'll just use gravel, I guess, for right now. Just need a block to set it on. Oh, <laughs> sucked up the gravel. <laughs> okay, so now what's going to happen is there's, uh, the blazes will can't get through there. The blazes will get spawned up there, they'll fall down, they'll hit the shield, right? Once they hit the shield, they're going to start taking damage and they're going to die. The vacuum chest will allow all of those items to be picked up, okay? I need to get some item conduits, which I don't have any of right at the moment. I need to get some power down here, which I don't have any of right at the moment. So hang tight for just a minute. I'm going to wrap this thing up and when we come back, we should be able to turn it on and see how well it's going to work. So see you momentarily. Okay, before we... Uh, before we go downstairs and try this, because I think it's about, I think it's ready to go, uh, there is something that I want to uh, want to talk to you guys about. Something I want to show you. Um, <clears throat> I went back to the end, and uh, I went through that uh, that new portal, mm -hmm. and I got myself some some chorus fruit and some chorus seeds, so that we can get some uh, some chorus blocks going. Uh, maybe, maybe even some purper blocks. Many of you, if you guys have ever watched my single player series, which yes, my single player series is on hold right now. Um, my single player vanilla series that is it is on hold right now but uh, it is going to come back i just i've been so into everything that's going on here with unstable that i haven't really i uh, haven't really had time to to play vanilla single player but if you guys are interested in seeing that uh, let me know. Let me know if you guys are interested in me bringing back that vanilla series sometime soon. I mean there's a lot of work left to do in this series but uh, but you know the vanilla series can come back pretty soon. Um, but there's a few things I got. You know, I got the chorus flower and I got the chorus fruit. Uh, I also got a set of uh, elytra wings. Uh, where did I put those? Uh oh, where did I put those? Did I put them in here? Yeah, I did. So I got a set of elytra wings. It's kind of a moot point to have them because, you know, we've, we've got flight because of the angel ring. Um, but, you know, maybe might be fun to do some stuff with that in the future. If you guys know of any good ideas that we can do with those elytra wings here in, uh, in modded, that'd be great to, that'd be great to know about. Um, but I went there because I needed a lot of, uh, I needed a lot of end stone and such, uh, because I've got something that I want to do with end stone later. Um, uh, so I wanted to start gathering up that material. Um, so you, let me know what you think about the, uh, uh, you know, the possibilities of, you know, incorporating those purper blocks. I, I've never been really fond of them, especially in like single player vanilla Minecraft, uh, because it, they're purple blocks. They don't really go with a lot of stuff, but I'm thinking we could do something with them. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Also, you know, if there's any ideas you guys have for the elytra wings, but here we are. Okay. 
here we are. We are ready to power this thing up, I believe. And is there... Is that all closed in down there? I don't know that that's all closed in. That might not be all closed in. Let's go make sure of that real quick. Yeah. It's not. There's no, There's. no. It's not closed in right here. So let's put a block in there. I can't because I don't have one. We'll put one of these in just for right now. We'll get ourselves a... Uh, We'll get ourselves a stone block here soon. But uh, to power this thing up, all I gotta do is tie this piece of conduit in right here. Uh, do I have another, hey phone, be quiet. Do I not have another, uh oh, rut row. Oh, I don't have another one. I gotta make another piece of energetic, or ender, I, ugh, I gotta make another piece of ender conduit. Oh man, just when you think you're ready, just when you think you're ready to do stuff, you realize you don't have everything you need. So let's get ourselves some ender conduit or whatever that stuff is called. Let's see, C-O-N-D-U-I-T. We want this one. Ooh, that's energetic alloy. Ooh, I don't have energetic alloy. I'm gonna have to make some. Be right back. Okay, we got our we got all the stuff we need. We got the we got the conduit now. But uh, let me show you what I did here. Uh, so, of course, down here we've got our item conduits that are coming from the bottom of the uh, vacuum chest. We've got our shield projector here, which is tied into power. Uh, the power comes is going to come from this capacitor right here. So I probably will increase the size of this capacitor bank at some point in time. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's holding steady. It's at about a million RF right now. Um, and it's not gaining or losing right now either, which as soon as I hook this thing in, it's going to lose like a beast. Um, and then the item conduits continue on up over and they tie into this line right over here which goes into that chest and then that chest actually, actually they don't go into the chest, they go into the dimensional transceiver. And the dimensional transceiver is then tied in back over there to the uh, uh, to our power system, our uh, refined storage system. So let's go ahead and do that and let's see what we got here. It's getting power. Should start to... Uh, spawn some uh oh why is that not uh oh shoot the, the projector the shield Let's see what's going on with the shield uh, has power shield transparent there we go it's getting power now good Okay. Are we Are we working? Yeah, 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 I see you guys. I really do. Is it working? I can't tell if it's working. That's not the texture that I want. There's a there's a texture that goes with that that I wanted to that I would that I wanted to have. But it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Let's go ahead and turn off. Turn off the spawner. Yeah, let's turn off the spawner for a second. Now the spawner doesn't have any power, but this still does. Oh, I had that's right, I had to click it with the wrench. I had to turn a wrench on. Ah, that's right. Uh oh. Oh, wait, where did I. Uh oh, where did my button go? Oh. Well, now that's weird. Ha! I did not know you could do that. <laughs> so there we go. Now we've got ourselves a force field down there at the bottom. We missed it killing them, so let's go ahead and turn it back on. Let's put our power back to this. Oh, don't throw away the wrench. Uh oh. Okay, good. Now we're losing a bunch of XP on this, so there might be a way. I want to see if there's a way that we can get that XP back too. There they go, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, we need to we need to find a way to collect the XP. We might be able to do that with maybe a Batania flower. Uh, there might be another way to collect the XP also. Um, via some other source. I'll look into that in the uh, in the time between the episodes 
So I think that that is going to do it, folks. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe. The likes and the subscriptions help me out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. And you guys are awesome about comments. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of your feedback uh, in, this, uh, in this world and everything we've done. It's helped out so, so much. So anyway, thanks again for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.